of you remember Challenge Heidi from the Aleem's Creative Living Days? Let me just put up the hand here. How many of you watched Aleem's Creative Living and remember Challenge Heidi? It was absolutely a fan favorite. And we got to the point where we had to put a limit on the trash that people would send into the show for Heidi to craft with because we would get pallets full of boxes. So uh, that was Heidi Challenge on Aleem's Creative Living. Well, Eco Heidi has put together a series of 99 cent Challenge Heidi ebooks that she will be offering at the marketplace at Cool the Craft. And today she'd like to share with you her Coffee Mate Santa. This was a challenge that was sent in by one of our viewers. I'm delighted to welcome my sister, Eco Heidi Borchers. Hi, Heidi. Hi, Tip. Thanks so much. You know, when we did Challenge Heidi on Aline's Creative Living, the very first time that we announced it, we got over 2,500 boxes of people's trash. And that meant that people actually put their trash into a box and spent $10, $15, $20 to send me their trash. So it was an amazing hit. It went on for many, many years, and it was lots of fun. And actually, this challenge was more like by my husband. My husband goes through Coffee Mate so much, and so we constantly putting the bottles in recycling. And there, the Coffee Mate's so cute because it has this sweet little cap. The cap looks like, to me, looks like a little cap. So that's why I decided to do this project. So let's get started. Okay, the first thing that we're gonna do is, um, I have my bottle here, and one thing I did find out today, just today, is I usually spray this with either one of these products. Um, I love the um, the Fast Grab Tacky Spray or the Crystal Clear Tacky Spray. But what I found out is that you need to use it right away. Um, you really can't, especially when it's cold. So I sprayed it about a half an hour ago, and it's just a little tacky. So really quick in here, I'm not supposed to do this in here. Put a little bit more on because it wasn't quite as sticky. So I have a whole sheet of the um, of the felt, and I'm going to kind of line it up. So, and like Tiffany said, there is complete instructions and patterns on um, shopcooltocraft.com. And we're just going to roll that like that, and then I'm going to take my trusty tacky glue, and I'm just going to roll put just a real thin line right there to hold it. Now with the rest of this, getting this to fit, what I did was I just kind of cut in and just kind of took out some different places. I love tacky spray. It works so great, but the thing, like I said, when it's cold and it, you have to use it right away and it works fabulous. It just gives you that instant hold. So let's see if this will work now. So what you're going to do is you're just going to kind of press that into the bottle. And we're going to cut a little bit off here. And you just have to kind of keep working at it. And this one has a little bit extra right here. And just keep working. Like I said, if it were, if the tacky spray so we're gonna kind of well, I'm gonna put some tacky up here. And all this will be covered by the beard and everything. Okay. And then I have some pieces cut out here. This is my beard. And here's my my face. And you know, Tiffany did a beautiful job of putting together um, the ebook for this project. Really fabulous. And we're just gonna put some glue. So I have my down a little bit. Oops, I keep getting out of view there. And 
check and make sure that the cap goes on. And then on the cap, I'll put on some, you can see too that this still needs to be kind of adjusted. There's some arms and there's, remember that when you put on a hand or a glove that the thumbs go up, good thing to know. Put another arm here. Oops, there. And you can always to adjust this so that it can hold a, a little gift. And thumbs up. We have some little cuffs. Oops. Doing this very, very quickly. Oh, I lost a cuff somewhere here. And then we're going to put on his mustache and his nose and two little eyes. Nose is a pom pom. <laughs> Steve Grafton, thank you, Stephanie. <laughs> and then you put a rim of white felt around there, and that is it. Now, someone um, yesterday or today on Facebook said that this would make a cute bank, and I think that would be perfect because the head still screws off and on, so it would make a cute bank. Now, also, um, before I go, I wanted to, to tell you, though, you know, take a project like this and think of how far you can go with it. I mean, yes, I'm doing a Santa Claus um, because it really, you know, looks really great with Santa Claus. But think about during the year, too. I mean, even even a snowman. I did this one white. This one could be a snowman. Think of all the different things we could do, even for like um, the scout groups. You could make it into a scout. You could do it with the colors of the scouts. So let's think about the ways that we can. Um, transform these, recycle these um, to make different figures. It's, it's a great, um, just a start to give you ideas during the year to use these um, so that we, an elf, yeah, definitely an elf would be cute. Uh, hey, Easter Bunny would be fabulous. So that's, see, I'm getting you guys to be creative. So I want to see some of these uh, coffee make containers uh, into, made into some fun um, projects and instead of going into the recycle bins.